So come on in, welcome to Australia's first full-scale 3D printed house. Nick Holden is on to something pretty extraordinary. He's building a home like never before, and watching it is as magical as it is methodical. So by the end of the day, how tall will this wall be? So look, we'll be up another 1,200 millimetres, so the wall is a metre at the moment, so we'll be over two metres high. And it just keeps going? It just keeps going. It doesn't look or sound like an ordinary construction site, because it isn't. There's not a brick or tradie in sight, and it'll hold. It's a concrete house, so yet this will be around for the next 100 years. Only engineers, material scientists and software experts who are constructing this Marvel project. Yeah. It's actually quite mesmerising to watch, isn't it? It's really cool. It is like the consistency of toothpaste, you know, but it's, uh, it holds its form. Even though it's wet, it's what we call rheology. It'll hold its shape even when you apply pressure on top. It's almost like a soft serve. Sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll get you a cone. In all seriousness, this technology could give aspiring homeowners battling a tough housing market hope. Nick thinks his 3D homes could provide a quick and affordable solution. I believe 3D printing can be a major factor in, uh, in going towards solving the supply and the housing crisis issue. We will turn this duplex around from starting to print to completion, ready to move in in 12 weeks. So the mantra there is we're turning what would be a 12 month project into a 12 week project. Three months and your home's finished? Three months and we're done. Cost, how much will it be? Well, at the moment we, we are seeing about a 25% reduction in the overall build cost. And when those buyers come looking, Nick Holden will be ready to sell them a 3D printed home. Coming up. Okay, you're right to walk the plane. I Give sure it am, in. yes. Yep, there you go. Oh, <laughs> wow, good. look at this. The incredible progress of this revolutionary build. Uh, lounge room and sort of a small dining table here. It's been eight weeks since my first visit to Nick Holden's construction site, and the progress is remarkable. So here we are walking down from the entry. We're coming into the kitchen, uh, lounge room, and sort of a small dining table here. It just feels so big. It's huge. Four metre high ceilings, very airy. So we've got a really cool VR setup where you can walk through the finished house. I'll put that on your head. He gives us a sneak peek of what his technology-based build will look like when it's finished next month. Look at this place. Yeah. This really is like building a home in the future. It's impressive to see, and this is just the beginning. Nick has an almighty plan to rehouse Australia. Why can't we scale up to print 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 houses a year? I mean, that's just mathematics. You know, housing should be a basic human right. 